Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's get started with um, the rest of the library, right? How we can set it up uh, into a project, right? Uh, a simple Maven Java project and uh, how we can include all the dependencies so that we can use this library for building a framework or testing our REST APIs. So let's see how we can um, start with the setup first. Okay, so I've opened up IntelG. Now for this course, um, I'll be using this IntelG as a ID, right, for setting up my project. You can obviously use uh, this, or you can also use your own ID, like an Eclipse or anything else, right? It doesn't matter. So if you want to just follow along, you can uh, simply open IntelG or download the community version and start um, using the same ID, okay? so. I'll just create a simple uh, project here, right? Uh, it will be a Maven project, obviously. So we will um, give it a name and then I will specify a group ID, artifact ID, same as the project name, as you know, and version, we can leave it as 1.0 snapshot, right? So seeing that, um, I will say rest assured and I will say demo, okay? So this is my project and I will give it a group ID, which is my domain name, com.qscript. I will click on finish and that should start setting up my Java Maven project. Now, as you notice, there is no difference in the setup, right? Uh, we need to set up the same Maven Java project. The only difference would be obviously uh, will be including more dependencies, right? Instead of, um, all the other uh, test framework dependencies will be including the rest assured um, API dependencies, okay? So let's go to a pom.xml file and we'll create a dependencies tag here so that we can add our dependencies here. And now um, we need to search for the particular dependency, right? So you can go to mdndepository.com and then you can search for this um, dependency which is called the io.restassured. Now there are different uh, variations of this um, rest assured library, like you will also um, see JWA or there are some others, right? But I will um, stick to the io.restassured. So if you want to follow along, just search for this um, dependency in the MBN repository and uh, you can get started, right? So as I said, uh, there are other variations of rest assured like the uh, JWA dot rest assured, uh, there is third party and um, Serenity, BDD, right? So there are different variations uh, as it's an open source project, right? Anybody can um, actually contribute to this project or uh, you can use this project to uh, build something on top of this also, right? So we'll stick to the um, kind of official IO dot rest assured dependencies and let's add all those dependencies into a project, okay? So as you see, this is the first dependency, which is the REST Assure dependency. Uh, we need this dependency in order to interact with the REST APIs. So let's add this and we'll remove the test scope. We don't want to um, limit it to the test scope. And then um, this will basically um, get you started. If you just want to kind of send an API request and see the response, you can use this um, dependency and get started with it. But if you want to do more uh, things with your REST, uh, REST Assured API uh, framework or project, like uh, validating uh, your JSON response or you're validating your schema or validating um, any XML response type, right? So all these for all these you need all these uh, additional dependencies into your project as well okay so it's better to add all these dependencies right uh, it will be useful later on um, and there are others as well other dependencies like which are related to spring scala um, kotlin right so there are so many uh, dependencies but uh, right now um, I will uh, not focus on them. I will just stick to these four dependencies which are related to the more common functionalities which you come across when you uh, are testing a basically a RESTful API, right? So let's add uh, the dependencies for the others like the JSON path, the XML path and the schema validator, okay?
and this is the final one which is the xml path so let me add this and then um along with uh, the rest assured api libraries or dependencies you can also um, kind of tag along a test framework right like j unit test ng cucumber doesn't matter which which test framework but uh, just for um, to make your framework more reusable and productive right you can easily integrate it with a, another test framework like i'll be using the j unit but you can also use test ng or cucumber right uh, depending uh, i will i may show you uh, something related to cucumber right how to set up a project or a framework uh, with rest assured using cucumber but that will be in the later videos for now i'll be just using the j unit framework okay again uh, we'll remove the test scope we don't want to limit it now before you move forward uh, just make sure you have um, resolved all your dependencies so you can just to make sure you go to maven and reload your project so that all your dependencies are resolved and once it's done, you can go to the Maven branch here inside the project, you will see a dependencies branch and you will see all your dependencies which are listed down here, right? If they are resolved, um, all the interdependencies will also be downloaded um, and resolved, right? So in order to use all the effective libraries into your project, okay? So that's all you need to do in order to um, set up a kind of project where you can you start using less to showed um, library right you just need to get the dependencies and then uh, you can start using the different methods which are available with the rest issued to build your framework or to test your rest apis okay so um, we'll see that um, in our next video where i will explain you more about the different ways how you can use uh, the rest assured library right and in order to validate or ver verify your api responses or api requests uh, right so see you in the next video um i hope you like this video um and we will learn more about rest assured in the next video